Hey guys, while I was working on a new video about Hockey Canada's brand spanking new uniforms that were just recently unveiled, today the Philadelphia Flyers dropped a bomb and have unveiled their 50th anniversary jersey. So in this video, I'm going to share my thoughts on that new jersey. Anyways, it's kind of hard to uh, talk about the jersey without a picture of it. So, here it is. That's it. It's not too busy. It's not too simple either. So from a distance, it's it's got an orange, pardon me, it's got a shoulder yoke just like their Winter Classic 3rd jersey. It's got black cuffs on the arms just like their away jersey. It's got orange stripes right here. Plus, it's got a big orange stripe around the waist and a smaller black stripe, which I, I'm a little bit baffled by that because it would look a lot better if it had the same sized black stripe as the size of the cuffs on the arms. It would look a lot better in my opinion. But anyways, this is a picture from a distance. It's a pretty clean jersey. But anyways, I'm going to start to get into the details of it. So... First off, this is what the jersey looks like on a player. So as you can see, they're going to stick with their regular black shorts, black gloves. They've got the 50th anniversary shoulder patch, which was shown in teasers quite a while ago. And if you watched my 2016-17 NHL jersey changes, what is known so far video, I mentioned that I kind of thought it was a very misleading photo for a 1980s throwback. Turns out the Flyers had something completely different up their sleeves. And this jersey is very unique because it makes use of the color gold. Which, it makes sense because it is the Flyers 50th anniversary. Which many people would also say a 50th anniversary is known, also known as a golden anniversary. So, I get the reasoning behind the gold trim on the, on the logo, golden numbers, and a golden letter on the captain patch. Now, also notice there is a bit of gold trim around the letters of the names, which are still on a black nameplate, which I don't mind the look of that. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I actually really like it, and that's probably a matter of opinion. But notice the gold numbers, and notice that the that the names on the back are on a black nameplate. Sorry guys, I had a bit of a brain fart there, didn't know how to really say it. But anyways, I think for, for a 50th anniversary jersey, it's not bad. It's going to be worn for the season opener, and the Flyers are going to wear it for 12 games in the 2016-17 season to commemorate 50 years. And overall, I think that for a special anniversary jersey, I don't think it's bad. But at the same time, I'm a little bit disappointed with the gold numbers and the gold captain letter. And I have two reasons for it. Number one, the orange lettering on their road jersey is far better. And the gold is random. and the reason I also say that is because notice the striping of the jersey itself. Do you see any gold striping anywhere? See what I mean? So there's gold trimming around the logo, a gold captain's C, which won't be on most of the jerseys, gold numbers, and gold trim around the names on the black nameplate on the back of the jersey. That's it. There's no actual gold striping. Which, you know, in this case it looks good without it, but it doesn't make sense to have gold letters and, or pardon me, gold numbers on the jersey if it's not going to have any gold striping anywhere on the jersey. See what I mean? It looks very mismatching. And even though, as I say that, it's only going to be worn for 12 games, so it's not the end of the world. But it would have looked a hell of a lot better if the, if the numbers were orange just like their regular road jersey. And even if they had some gold trim between the orange and the black, I think that would have looked a lot better. 
But the other reason why I don't like the gold numbers is because their uh, cross-state rivals, their interstate rivals, the Pittsburgh Penguins, not only wear gold as their main secondary color, but here's the thing. The Pittsburgh Penguins just retired this Vegas gold color after wearing it for uh, about 15 years. So, you know, I kind of think that the gold numbers is a little bit too soon. But I could that could just be me. I'm not sure how anybody else feels about that. But it doesn't make sense when the other team that's in the same state as you in Pennsylvania wears gold. And now you've got gold numbers on your... 50th anniversary jersey like whose anniversary are you celebrating guys <laughs> are you celebrating yours or are you celebrating Pittsburgh's anyways I'm just kidding when I say that totally kidding but the gold trim around the logo looks good and overall I think this is actually a very nice jersey and it's a lot better than what I was expecting I was expecting if it wasn't going to be a throwback I was expecting something more involving weird striping and gradients and I'm glad that the flyers did not go that direction because this is simple it looks good it's not the end of the world and I think it's a decent jersey obviously without the gold numbers and the gold captain and alternate patch letters but the gold trim around the logo I, I don't mind that that's a nice touch and the golden anniversary I understand the method behind the madness but I still but still, I would have maybe put a little bit of thin gold striping on the striping of the jersey, and that's it. At the most. But anyways, what I'm really disappointed about with this jersey, as well that I haven't ma mentioned, is that... Um, what was I go going to say... One thing that I was a little tiny bit disappointed about was that the Flyers elected to bring something new out instead of going with a throwback. And I would have much preferred if the Flyers went with one of their white or orange throwbacks from the 80s and 1990s. And I think that, you know, for, for myself, I believe that a 50th anniversary jersey should be a throwback. And I'm a little bit disappointed that the Flyers took this opportunity to make a new jersey in order to sell more merchandise. But at the same time, I also think that the fact that this was the design that their um, late owner, Ed Snyder, approved, I thought that was a very nice touch. So it, that part gets a bit of an exception from me for that reason, but... With this jersey, though, I wish they would have done a throwback to the 80s. The white jersey or even the orange jersey from that era would have been a nice touch for a 50th anniversary rather than a new jersey altogether. So, overall, I mean, this jersey isn't bad. I mean, for a jersey that's only going to be used for 12 games, it, you know, it's definitely hard to complain. But the only thing I don't like is I just wish the gold numbers and the gold captain and alternate captain patches would have been orange instead of gold. And as for the gold trimming around the logo itself, I think that looks good, especially under the circumstances. But, you know, this jersey here, one other thing that disappoints me is that this is supposedly not going to be the Stadium Series jersey. In fact, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that I've heard that this is only for a special 12-game or a special 50th anniversary jersey that'll be worn for 12 games. But I wish this would have been the Stadium Series jersey because this would have actually been a very nice choice. And it would have given us a simple, decent jersey which, for the most part, we have yet to see in the Stadium Series so far. And look at it. It's got waist striping. It's got arm striping. It's a complete jersey. And I just wish this would have been the Stadium Series jersey, too. And what I would have liked to have seen is I would have liked to have seen this be the Stadium Series jersey and then wear it for another 4-10 to 10 games after the Stadium Series game. 
Now that would have been a lot better in my opinion. But unfortunately that's not going to be the case. I just hope the Stadium Series jersey doesn't disappoint. But unfortunately the Stadium Series jerseys have a bad track record. So I'm kind of dreading it. Not going to lie. But to see this for 12 games this upcoming season, you really can't go wrong. And I also want to quickly touch base on the Philadelphia Flyers Winter Classic 3rd jersey. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Because I haven't taken that photo off of my computer yet. I still have it. Um, okay. I'm going to show this photo because I really like it. But So... I just want to quickly mention that as for the status of Philadelphia's current third jersey, which you can see right here, which was worn in the 2012 Winter Classic against the Rangers, I currently don't know what the hell's going on with that. Because the Flyers are wearing the white jersey, the 50th anniversary jersey, for 12 games, it looks to me that the Flyers are not going to wear this jersey next this upcoming season. But until I know more, that's all I can tell you guys. But personally, I'm hoping the Flyers keep this jersey because I think it deserves more time, more usage, because it's such a nice third jersey. I think it's the cherry on the cake to their current home and away jerseys. And, you know, I think this is quite a bit better than the 50th anniversary jersey. I'm not going to lie. Just because of the gold letters or the gold numbers and the gold trim all over the jersey. Which, you know, as I say that, it's a nice jersey. But I definitely prefer the Winter Classic third jersey that the Flyers have now. But anyways, I've also heard that some people have been saying that, you know, maybe the Flyers should make this, make something off of this as a new home jersey with a matching away. Well, here's my thoughts on that. Personally, I think that's a bad idea. And here's why. With the Flyers... With their road jersey here, you've got a unique design. There are so many teams in the NHL that have a shoulder yoke with arm and waist striping, but there, but nobody else has this design that the Flyers road jersey has. And, you know, I think it's such a great look. And for myself, you know, I don't see why anybody would want it to be changed because not only... Not only did the Flyers win two cups as the Broad Street in the Broad Street Bully era with this jersey, but and its orange counterpart, which are now their home and away jerseys, thankfully. But I th I just think they're very nice jerseys. They own the color orange, and even though it's nice to see Edmonton and Anaheim with orange thirds, the Flyers own orange in the NHL because they're the only team that you're guaranteed to see orange on the ice for 41 plus home games a year. And I, I just think these two jerseys are great. And especially the white one. Now, for me personally, I would have really liked to have seen this orange Flyers jersey from the 80s and 90s make a comeback. But even if it's not going to make a comeback, I guess it's not the end of the world. But I would have rather seen this or its white counterpart from the 80s make a comeback as the 50th anniversary jersey, and then had a jersey like this new one here as the Stadium Series jersey. But unfortunately, that hasn't happened. But anyways, overall, I mean, I can't really say this is a bad jersey. I think it's actually pretty good, even though I would have preferred orange numbers instead of gold ones. But for a one-season jersey... In my opinion, it's very hard to complain. It, in my opinion, it's very nice and it's a very simple, clean look. Anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I quickly put together as a result of the unveiling of, or I should say the surprise unveiling of this jersey today. And as always, until my next video, take care and bye for now.